Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and as promised we now have videos for SDR Uno software and this is of course going to be in a playlist called SDR Uno for beginners if you have a SDR play device um, RSPDX, RSP1A you might be using SDR Uno software and of course there is a learning curve on software defined receiver software the first most asked question how do I set up my SDR Uno software and save the way that I've actually uh, you know installed the different windows save the way that it looks so that every time it opens it will open exactly like I want so there's something called workspaces in SDR Uno where you can save the different layouts that you want on the screen. By default on a lot of machines, okay, SDR Uno, by default on a lot of machines, I'm gonna show you what it looks like at first. So when you start SDR Uno, for a lot of people, what you will see, what you will see is uh, simply um, this. So we're gonna close this, close this, close this a lot of you will see that all that opens is this panel the main panel okay on the main panel you have these buttons sp1 sp2 and rx sp1 is the spectrum window the main spectrum window you see here at the bottom with the waterfall and everything so when you start as the Arduino, this is where the waterfall happens this is the spectrum display that you have of what you're listening to then you've got the second one which is the audio window you might not want it or you might want it i always get it be uh, and put it on the screen for a very simple reason sometimes you want to play with the audio filters a little bit so by clicking this you of course get the audio spectrum and we'll get to this in a separate video okay just know that this is for the audio side of things what you're listening to and finally rx is for receive so this is the receive the main panel for frequency entry and the receive panel with the s meter and everything now you notice the way that it's laid out on my pc and this is the way i like to use it one of the things you need to know is when you actually so each little window is unique and is a standalone window if you click on the top where there's no buttons click and hold you can move these around so you can use them and use them by moving them around and put them the way that you want many windows not all of them some are kind of fixed in size but some windows you also have the ability to stretch if you take one of the borders you can actually change that so that's where what you can do is you know have it the size that you want uh, same here for the main window of the spectrum display as you notice you can stretch it out make it smaller bigger it's up to you to decide what you want to do with this uh, spectrum display simply play around with the size and you know put the layout the way you like it I pers my personal favorite way of doing it is to pretty much have it like this but depending on the screen layout the size of your screen you know if you if you have sdr on a 60 inch display of course you got a lot more uh possibilities because it's easier to see what's happening so sometimes you might want to have some windows bigger because of a smaller screen so here this is on my 15 inch laptop screen now once that layout is here how do you save that workspace well there's a nice little button save ws one little word here if you don't see that button you're maybe not on the latest version of sdr uno we are on version 1.33 right now okay so if you don't see that button um maybe you're on a older version of sdr uno simply click save ws to have it open automatically with your favorite uh, layout like it is right now you got to save it in the default workspace 
Once that is done, it's going to say current workspace saved. Click OK. That means that now, if I actually shut down SDR Uno, I go do something else. The next time I'm going to use SDR Uno, it's going to open exactly like I want it. SDR Uno. There we go. And it opens exactly like I saved it last time. And on, um, if you have multiple ways of using SDR Uno, maybe sometimes it's on the laptop, sometimes it's on the laptop with the extended screen, you have different, when you click here, uh, Save WS for Save Workspace, you have different workspaces available. So you can actually use the different workspaces for the different layouts that you might use if you actually, um, you know, have different ways of uh, using your PC and sometimes had a second screen and so on. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. More videos are coming for SDR Uno.